what's up everyone welcome back to the channel uh i just want to do a quick video for something that i see people asking every now and then on uh facebook pages and stuff i want to show you guys how to do an oil change on the uh fusion sport um it's real simple real easy they, they make it so that you know anyone can do it at their house so i'm going to show you guys how to do that real quick so first off before you start make sure you get everything you need so you're going to need six quarts of 530 oil. I use Pennzoil Platinum. Um, make sure that if you buy that five quart bottle, you get another quart. Um, and then I don't know what the STP filter is or whatever they have at AutoZone, but I just grabbed the Motorcraft one because I didn't feel like cross-referencing them. It's the FL2062. Um, it says EcoBoost on it, so you'll see it at the in the in the store. They almost always have at least one in stock. And then, as far as tools go, all you're gonna need is a what size is this? 27 millimeter socket and ratchet. The drain plug is like a quick quick release, easy drain plug. So the only thing I've noticed is that sometimes. I don't have the hand strength to turn it. You can use an assortment of needle nose just to break it loose. Just be careful. But if you look at it, it's just it's just got these. So all you really would have to do, if you can't, see I can't do it by hand. So what I just do is I'll grab some uh, pliers and just put it on it and just turn it enough until it pops loose and then you can do it by hand and then since it's a quick release as soon as you get that off of there that's gonna that's gonna go and all your oil is gonna drain out so before we do that first thing i want to do take your dipstick pop it up and pull it out that way you can wipe it off and have it ready to check your oil level um this is of course after you raise your car up on uh ramps or jack stands or whatever but yeah pop your dipstick out and then uh drain your oil so let me see if i can get a good shot of that so once you've got the uh dipstick popped out all this thing has to do is rotate just a little bit and then it's going to come straight out and it's going to get oil probably all over you so i'm going to pull my sleeve up and have some towels ready now I know you can buy a quick release, one of these, oh, just like that, see, real easy. These uh, super extra cheap oil drain pans from AutoZone, I have a heck of a time finding one that isn't a piece of garbage. So then you just clean off your, uh, clean off your old drain pan, or drain plug. Make sure that your seal that's on it is good and everything. And just let that drain for a little bit. Alright, well your oil is draining. So now we're going to work on the filter. So, if you have a JLT 3.0 catch can like I do, it bolts and it kind of covers the top of the filter cartridge. So I just kind of tilt it over out of the way. So I can get my socket onto it. You got your 27 mil socket. And they were smart and they put this oil filter on top so that everything that drips off of it drips right back down in there. So you're just going to work it off of there. Make sure that you got some more paper towels. So I'm going to stick the old filter. So it's actually attached to the cartridge. I usually try to just let it drain out into there as much as I can. And this one really needed it. I went ice racing and then drove for like like a month or something like that afterwards. And it's been yelling at me for a while, so very very overdue for an oil change, but 
getting it done. All right, so just a heads up, there's a new oil filter on the market. Um, apparently it's the FL2062A, and the regular ones are 2062. The only difference being, it looks like it's a cost-cutting thing where instead of using the plastic end caps, it's just got, I don't know, some glue. It's the same length. It'll work just the same. And if it doesn't, just sue Ford for putting that in all of the auto parts stores. Not a big deal. So we're just going to stick this thing back on there and uh, put it back in. So if you feel so inclined, this thing has three different rubber seals. And almost every oil filter you get for it is going to have new seals for it. I really don't feel like replacing them. They still do their job. They weren't leaking. Nothing's wrong with them. So you stick it in there. Slide it in all the way, and then when you stick that back down in there, you're going to make sure that this all lines up and drops down in. Because this has to go into a hole in there that seals to force the oil to go around it. So you're just going to be careful and always start this by hand. Don't over torque this. This is plastic. So it's going to run down and it's going to hit this and stop. So just drop it down in there. Might have to wiggle it around a little bit. There it goes. You can actually apparently run this all the way down by hand. So, once it's all the way down there, I just like to make sure that's snug. I don't, I don't bring it very far, but it's in there, it's tight, it's not going to leak. Alright, well, you can see she's still slowly draining out, but I'm going to go ahead and stick this back in. Good to go. All right, so now what I like to do is I'm going to go ahead and put five of the six quarts in it, start it up so that it'll circulate through the filter, open the garage door, back it off the ramp so that it's nice and level, and then I'm going to shut it off, let it drain for, I don't know, a couple minutes, and then check the oil and put the remaining amount in there until it's at the top of the stick. All right, so the fill cap, it's a tiny little cap right here. Pull it out, lay it down somewhere clean. Here's a uh, funnel for me. So then you're gonna grab your oil. Alright, and if you're like me, and you have horrible crippling anxiety, you're going to want to check about 150 times that there's no oil on just draining out of the engine block from the drain plug that you literally just put in on camera. And there's not, so we're going to let that sit for a minute, and then I'm going to put the dipstick back in, put the cap back in, start her up, pull her off, let it drain down, and then we're going to put the rest of the oil that it needs in it. So. Just a second. All right, she is just on the bottom of the stick, so get my last quart here. I'm gonna put most of this in there, and leave just a little bit. Yep, 
So she is gonna get all of it. And that's all I'm gonna put in there. Because you take six quarts, you put six quarts in it. This is showing just just a little bit low, but last time I did this one, I filled it up and uh, checked it again later and it was a little bit over full. So I'm sure that there is a whole bunch left in there that hasn't quite drained down yet. So that's why it's always good to know exactly how much your engine takes. Alright, so... I'm going to drive this a little bit and check it again soon, but uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope that helps some of the newer people to uh, do something that's pretty basic and can hopefully save you some money. But thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I'll see you guys later.